YouTube, Juke with Jinobi here, and it is vlog time for April, and it is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day! I may or may not have a video today. I don't know. I, I seriously don't know. Uh, as of this recording, I didn't think of anything. So, as of right now, I have no idea, but I might have one by the time I'm done with this video. I don't but anyway, nothing in this video is a joke, I promise you that. Um, but uh, it's a little bit early, uh, I actually have an HLJ box here uh, that I'm going to go ahead and do the normal vlog unboxing for, because it's honestly more exciting than what I'm going to get in my Amiyami Noki box. Um, what to expect there, um, a Detail of Heroes game book uh, is in that box. Um, a couple of Pokemon things, uh, odds and ends, nothing that I would really review. Um, the Dragon Fruit Energy Lock Seed, the Armor Riders Lock Seeds, uh, Black Beat figure art. I think that's it uh, of importance in that box. Um, but what I'm going to do is I wanted to kind of address a lot of the things that went on in the survey. Because uh, I got some pretty interesting data that I want to talk about. Uh, but I'm not particularly ready to talk about it yet. I still need to write down a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. Um, there are some suggestions people said for the various questions that I want to actually just straight out address. But I need to write all those down first and kind of get my thoughts together before I hit the record button. So I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Uh, so kind of keep in mind uh, that there will be a vlog probably in roughly a week or so. Maybe the weekend if I'm really lucky. Um, and I will do the unboxing for the Ogi box as well as address all of those survey things in that video. Uh, so stay tuned for there. But for now, let's go ahead and just do that HLJ unboxing. Um, I wanted to have a cool video up for April Fool's Day, uh, regardless of if I actually make an April Fool's video or not. But I think there's something in this box that might actually help me make a pretty cool video, so I hope you all enjoy that. Though I guess it kind of ruins the point of an April Fool's video if... You know it's an April Fool's video, but my April Fool's videos are always glaringly obvious because I take a different persona completely than my normal self. So, I hope those are obvious, but I still get comments in April Fool's videos that are like, That's not what this item is. You're stupid. Or, God, this is a dumb video. It's an April Fool's Day. Calm down. But anyway, uh, I was at Target today, uh, picking up stuff from my mom, actually. And, uh... I actually found the Mix and More 2-packs. Uh, so, wow, that window's really messing with things. Uh, wow, well, if I put the video in frame, I don't turn blue anymore. That's cool. Uh, so I got the White Ranger and the Tiger Zord here. Uh, I got the clear uh, Dino Charge Red Ranger with the kind of dark red uh, T-Rex Zord as well. And then the other set is the Gold Samurai Ranger and uh, the Claw Zord. Uh, it's here as well. So, uh, yesterday we took a look at the single pack figures, which I found at a different Target, um, which are actually really fun. Um, I was going to get a lot more Hero Masters than I did. I ended up only with the Dinobots, Bumblebee, and Hound, because they look like Bulkhead, and I thought that was cool. Uh, so those are the only ones I ended up with, but um, I'm a fan of those kind of things. Uh, they're not quite as articulated, but I like the whole mixing and matching. Uh, if you remember, I was a huge fan of the Joint Gatai series back during Gokaiger. And uh, I'm a huge fan and supporter of the Zord Builder line for Bandai of America. So this is kind of an extension of that. I like these style of figures quite a bit, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of new molds the line can produce. Because right now it's just kind of the same four molds just getting circulated around a lot. So hopefully we got some cool things on the horizon. Uh, I know there was some neat things in Toys R Us computers. I don't remember if there was anything new at Toy Fair or not. But anyway, I got those. Those will go up tomorrow for Thursday's video. I don't know what Friday's video is going to be. Uh, probably something in the HLJ box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up that box. All right, first up is the vinyl uh, Tomonin Shinobi Maru. Oh, there's two of them in there because one is for a buddy. Uh, so, I, I picked up these. I haven't reviewed any of the Sentai Hero series figures yet. Uh, when Star Ninja comes in at the end of April, I might take a look at them all. Just because I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty much everyone except for the upgrade of whatever sort. 
I don't know. We might take a look at them. They're just final figures. There really isn't a whole lot to go over. Uh, so I picked uh, those up. I'm running out of places to put things already. Uh, let's see what else do we got in here. The uh, Kanakuri Hengen uh, is right here. I forgot about this toy completely. Uh, I don't really care a whole lot about it, but we will take a look at this thing. It came out really early in March, uh, around my birthday, actually. Uh, so, it's been a little bit. But, uh, this box, actually, a lot of stuff came in on uh, my birthday area, um, around March 15th. Uh, and then, the week after, everything else came out. I shipped that, and it took HLJ like four days to send out my freaking box. And uh, then it just kind of sat around in customs for like two days. Uh, so it, it took a little bit uh, to get to me, needless to say. Uh, so we have the Otomanin 1 and 2, Pawan Maru, and Ufo Maru. Uh, I really like UFO Maru. He's really cool. I dig him a lot. Uh, so I'm looking forward to opening up those for sure. Um, we have the uh, Go uh, Goton Shuriken, the five technique Shuriken, as I believe the uh, correct translated name. And I'm just going to go with Goton because that's what is on the side of the box right here. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it, but I'll, I'll do it. Uh, what else we got? We have TK9, I think, 9, Formula. So he is here. We'll take a look at those. Um, as of right now, I do have that tire set formula thing pre-ordered. I don't particularly want it, but for review purposes, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Um, and then we also have, naturally, the Trailer Ho. As it says on the box. The trailer cannon, um, that I do like to call a trailer ho, because that's funny to me. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it, it, I think there's a lot of potential here for, uh, for some fun. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. And then last but not least, I picked up something that is not for review, but just because it's matching my interests as of right now. Um, I did join the bandwagon and pick up Masterpiece Star Saber. Um, I'm not super familiar uh, with any of the Japanese series, but uh, Star Saber was always a favorite design of mine since I noticed him. Um, I think it was Energon that actually made me sort of look into who Star Saber was. Uh, and so I, I always really dug the design. Uh, I'm getting really into the masterpieces um, of the characters I like. Like, I didn't bother or care too much about all the sort of um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Uh, finas fi fi fiasco, there we go. Uh, surrounding exhaust, because I don't really care too much about exhaust. Um, I'm still looking forward to picking up Bumblebee, uh, even though I haven't yet, which is a shame, because Bumblebee is like my favorite. But I do have the G2 Bumblebee pre-ordered, because uh, that is like my favorite incarnation of Bumblebee, because that was my first Transformer, was a little G2 Bumblebee. So that guy's going to be really close to my heart, for sure. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting that one. Uh, I did pre-order tracks too. I don't know why. I just felt like it. Um, I do plan on going a little bit backwards, and I still want to pick up uh, Sideswipe, the normal Sideswipe. I have G2 Sideswipe, which is another one that is pretty close to my heart because that was probably one of my most played with Transformers when I was little. Was a G2 Sideswipe because I could actually transform that one good. Uh, so there, there's that. Um, I would like to pick up Sideswipe, Blue Streak, and uh, uh, Silver Streak. What, what, what name is he on that? I don't remember. Um, and the other one, not Prowl. I have Prowl. Uh, I'm drawing a complete blank for whatever reason. Uh, smoke Screen, I think. Maybe. Is it Smoke Screen? I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't remember what it is now. But I do need to pick those up uh, for sure. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this guy open. Um, I've seen plenty of reviews on him. And he just looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm definitely looking forward to picking up the old Star Saber here. And uh, checking him out. Uh, so basically what is going to happen. 
Um, basically, the, the next week and a half or so, it's just going to be cranking out these things um, until I get the Amiyoki box and add a couple things to it. Um, I'm probably going to do the Kakuri Hengen first. I'll probably do that on Friday just to get it out of the way. Uh, and then next week, um, probably... The Gotone Shuriken, uh, Palin Maru, the Trailer Cannon, TK09, and then the following week, kick it off with UFO Maru, maybe? Maybe put up Palin Maru and UFO Maru on the same day? I don't know. It really depends on how much time I have to record, uh, which is actually going pretty decent uh, as of late. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, so there, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, a couple things on the way. I do want to get uh, caught back up on lock seeds. Um, I, I got a lot out uh, since last vlog, um, but I still have to do the uh, the show rider set. I want to take a look at all the SG uh, uh, capsule candy toy uh, rider locks before I look at those. Um, and then we have the Armored Lock set coming in, the Dragon Fruits Energy Lock Seed coming in. Um, I also haven't taken a look at the Merry Christmas Lock Seed or the Fresh Pine and Fresh Orange Lock Seeds as well. Uh, so those are there. And uh, as of right now, that is it. But uh, you never know with Lock Seeds. Uh, so we, we still have the DVD one coming out, the Watermelon uh, one coming out. I think that's it. <sighs> I think, um, thankfully Bandai announced the Signal Bike Legend Showa Heisei, just Heisei, there's no Showa except for uh, Cyclone, um, the, the, the Signal Legend Bike set thing, so hopefully they're kind of done with Lock Seeds, because I need to, I need them to calm down. Um, I do have that pre-ordered uh, as of right now, um, I might cancel it, I don't know. Uh, it really depends on what direction I take the channel, uh, since I'm not really too 100% certain about anything yet. But I am rambling again, and that is for next video, next vlog. Uh, so stay tuned tomorrow for those two-pack mix and more figures, as well as um, Friday for uh, probably the Karakuri Hengen, unless I really decide to do the trailer cannon first. I haven't quite decided, but probably the Karakuri Hengen. So. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.